YouTube. This is your man Junior, aka Smoking Guns, out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content and boxing and MMA news that is out. So, today's video, this is actually going to be on Dana White. You guys just saw the video in the beginning of this video where you seen Dana White in a physical altercation with his wife on New Year's Eve. And when I went to bed last night, something told me to check the news. I was like, you know what? F it, I'm tired. I'm about to go pass out. Wake up this morning, and I see on all these different news outlets that Dana White is on video slapping his wife. And I'm like, I'm hoping he gets the same backlash. He better be blasted on C CBS, NBC, Fox News, CNN. He better be on every news outlet, just like Javante Davis was on every news outlet when it actually came out that he was innocent of that and that his girlfriend made false accusations. But you got Dana White on video slapping his broad? He better be getting put on blast. So when I seen the video, I'm like, it's not like what everybody was stating that it was. It seemed like he was about to talk to his wife about something. Maybe I'm pretty sure he pissed her off. Maybe he was trying to go and console her afterwards. And she kind of looks away, peeks at him, bah, smacks him. He's like, shot, bah, smacks her. That's where he friggin' effed up. Him being the bigger guy, he definitely should have walked away from that. Dana White's think it's like what 6'1 6'2 220 maybe bigger than that so it's like dude you definitely should have walked away from that I'd never condone any dude just hauling off on they chick like that but do I understand the sentiment sentiment of him being hit and then him reacting and hitting her back I do understand the sentiment but he definitely should have walked away and just calmed himself down from that situation unless it came to a point where she's just attacking and physically assaulting him after that initial hit then it's like yo defend yourself get this hoe up off of you understand what i'm saying but this is coming out in tmz where they came out with the video and came out with the damn news article last night where it states dana white nightclub fight with wife on new year's eve dana says there's no excuse and in this article it goes on to state dana white and his wife got physical with each other on new year's eve Stunning on liquors in a crowded Cabo San Lucas nightclub, an incident, Dana says, was regretfully fueled by booze. The USC Honcho and Ann White, who've been married for 26 years, were celebrating Saturday night with friends in L Squid Row. But things took a turn shortly after they all welcomed in 2023 at midnight. The couple and their group were in a VIP area above the dance floor. And when Dana leaned over to say something to Ann, she reacted by slapping him across the face. Dana immediately slapped her back in the face before friends jumped in and pulled them apart. And it all played out in plain view of patrons down below. Eyewitnesses in the club tell TMZ Sports, Dana and Ann both seemed heavily intoxicated prior to the violence. And the video seems to bear that out because things went from zero to 100 in an instant, seemingly for no reason. Further, we're told the conflict was over in all less than a minute. That I really don't give a damn about. I don't give care if there was alcohol involved, dude, you still can control yourself in a manner like that. But it also goes on to state in this article, we spoke to Dana about the incident and he admits he and Ann had been drinking heavily, but quickly adds, there's no excuse for him getting physical. He told us, you've heard me say for years, there's never an excuse for a guy to put his hands on a woman. And now here I am on TMZ talking about it, quote. Now with that being stated, like I said, I saw the video he was going to go console her about something. She responds by smacking him. If you put your hands on somebody, be prepared to get hit back because not everybody is going to react the same. Not everybody is going to walk away. Sometimes just reactions happen and people just react off of an instant or off of just instinct. But at the same time, he him being a big dude, because he is a pretty big dude. I think he's like 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 maybe about 220 to 240. Big ass dude. So with him 
putting his hands on her like that, he definitely should have walked away and he should have used his own sentiments that he's had on other people because he's actually been out in the air where he's made a statement just like so. We've been human beings and letting these guys, other guys make up for what they've done and come back. There's one thing that you never bounce back from and that's putting your hands on a woman. Been that way in the UFC since we started here. You don't bounce back from putting your hands on a woman, quote. Now, with him actually being on live, making a statement like this, will he live up to the statement and will he excommunicate himself from the UFC? Will he st step down from being the face of the UFC? Like I said, this is a very tr tricky situation where you are being physically assaulted and then you react by smacking the person. But if he actually lived by that sentiment, he sh definitely should have walked away and just kind of calmed himself down and then handled the situation later. Because I'm pretty sure if she smacked him and then he's trying to walk away and then she's continuing the assault, then of course you need to defrig and defend yourself. You need to subdue this hoe. But with her just smacking him, he definitely should have just walked away. I don't condone a man putting their hands on a woman like that. But I do understand the sentiment with him being physically assaulted. But with that being stated, he definitely should have walked away, definitely should have stepped away from, this, from the situation, reassessed everything, calmed down, let the friends calm him down, and then they could have rectified the situation later on. She would have hopefully apologized for the ish. I'm not going to make any kind of speculation. But with him making a statement like this where you don't bounce back from putting your hands on a woman, now you're on air putting your hands on, on a woman. Now, like you just said yourself, now you're on TMZ trying to explain this situation away, but it doesn't negate the fact that you did put your hands on her. So with that being stated, only time is going to tell what exactly is going to happen from this. Will he step down from being the UFC president or being the face of the UFC? Only time is going to tell. This will definitely be good promotion for that damn power slap promotion that they just started. But with that being stated, whatever you guys think, put your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you guys have any kind of questions, any kind of comments, hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up. All right. So I hope you like the video. Holla at your man.